we have Zach Radigan coming out of the red corner. No stranger to arena grappling. His current record is one and two, but his two wins are with some wild subs here. Uh, and he was actually a previous guest commentator last month. He's going to be versing Marquis McCrimmon out of Logic Jiu-Jitsu, uh, who recently actually just got promoted to Purple Belt. This uh, bout is going to be at 190. Yeah, now look for Zach to come out with some wild stuff right off the bat, right? These guys are both physically very similar to each other, so I'm curious to see how this plays out. Yeah, Zach has been known to hit some crazy things, like some no-gi baseball bat chokes that he initiated uh, from the standing position, and he's, he's very creative. Don't forget about the time that he hit an Americana from the close guard, was it? Yeah, from bottom <laughs> close guard. He hit an Americana from bottom close guard. So he uh, definitely can hit, find his submissions from anywhere, which is great for this rule set. He'll pull right away and look pull. to elevate. He's in on a leg, on, in, on a heel, heel hook. hook. Mark, he's going to have to spin. Oh, and a there's the tap. 39 wow. seconds, which is three seconds greater than the previous set. There we go. So Zach currently in the lead for fastest sub of the night. 39 no, no, oh. Second. no oh, didn't, so, make, oh, didn't make it oh i'm three sorry three seconds longer oh, three seconds longer never mind well well three seconds longer well either either way whether he was longer or shorter the bonus is still coming from droog's mma and jujitsu our gracious host so now let's see how marquis comes out because i have a feeling that this isn't the end of it you know marquis a competitor he's a purple belt he's experienced you know he might be down right now but i feel like he's going to bring a, a different energy in this in this round i completely agree marquis training out of logic under christian woodmansey dennis pressy in his corner he is no stranger to the comp scene a vet of riverfront fight to win and finishers um so i have no doubt we'll see a little more game in him now See, now Zach will lull you into thinking that he's going to play upper body and then jump jump down onto your legs. Um, so that's definitely something to be aware of for Marquis, right? Lots of hand fighting going on, too. A little bit of collar ties, a little bit of like slap collar ties. I like a lot of hand fighting, battling for the position that they need. Marquis staying calm and composed, though, which is what I like. Yep. You know, Zach brings a wild game. He doesn't call himself the psycho for um, no reason. And Marquis matching that pace. Yeah, and you can see, I mean, Marquis came out, he definitely seemed visibly upset at the way that that first round had come out, but he's able to keep his composure, which is really important when you still are staring down the barrel of a minimum potential 10 minutes um, or more if you bring it into that fourth overtime. So Marquis needs to get, he, he needs to get working though because, oh, right back to the there pool, but very again. nice right hips for Marquis, but oh. Zach in on the same single leg X where Marquis needs to be careful, boot his right leg through and step out to a base. Wow. Zach spinning right into a oh, right into a straight. Oh, that's a tight oh, straight. There's a second oh, tap. Oh wow, what a display by Zach Radigan. Holy cow. So Zach, Zach able to get it done in a little over two minutes of total grappling time out there. He actually had the quickest total match time last card as well. Um, he was able to get it done in about two minutes and 30 seconds there last time. So, yeah, um, I think he beats Grant on yeah. overall time, right? Yeah, yep. that's pretty good. But hey, props to Marquis for coming out here. Um, both guys looking really good. Excited, excited to talk to Zach on this one. Yeah, Marquis had some high level, you know, hand fighting to begin with, but um, like I said, Zach will lull you into thinking you're gonna hand fight up top and then and he drops down on those legs really well. Um, and you know, he, he kinda got his number right away and went right back to it. And uh, yeah, it made for two really good submissions. Now I'm really interested to see if Zach is going to remember to come over to the commentary table since last time he was with us at the commentary table. The big here thing is comes. Zach is always the biggest fan of other people, so I can't wait to see what he's about to say here. Hello, Zach. <laughs> I heard uh, in the middle of the round, three seconds more. I didn't get the quickest. Uh, oh my god, <laughs> that's all right. So but, uh, close, so close. Hey, uh, I want to make a shout out to um, Rolling Society, hooking me up with this rash guard. It's pretty cool. But yeah. What's up? That's awesome. So yeah, I mean, obviously you're a veteran of Arena. You've been here at the commentary table with us. You've been out there multiple times. Um, why don't you just give us your thoughts on Arena and why you like competing here so much? I, I love Arena. It's like it's it's such a professional organization, and um, you've all treated me so well every single time I'm here. And it's just I, I'm, I keep I keep having such a fun time while I'm here. I'll be back for sure. But um, going into this match, I was really really nervous. You know, he just got his purple belt. And um, I seen he has really good guard passing, and I'm obviously a guard player, so I thought it was a really bad matchup for me. Uh, but you know, I 
I just wanted to tough it out and and try my best, and I ended up getting the victory tonight. Uh, the thing is for me, Zach, is um, every time I've watched you here, you've hit different submissions, and today you seemed pretty heavy on the leg locks. Like, did you come in with a plan for that? Do you just like throw spaghetti at the wall and you find a sub every time? Like, tell us about this. Usually it is spaghetti, but um, uh, yeah, I know he's a. I seen he's a gi guy, so usually, usually, you know, I don't want to discriminate against gi people, but usually that means that uh, heel hooks are more, you know, available. So I try for that. Cool. So some game planning on your end there. Yeah, definitely. I had to because obviously he's a really tough guy. You know? yeah. yeah, I was super impressed. Uh, I noticed the way you kind of lulled him into thinking that you were going to play this, uh, you know, shrug, uh, upper body uh, game. And then you kind of sat just basically didn't even pull, but kind of sat down onto his legs. I was really impressed by that. And every time you come in here, I'm impressed like like you guys had stated, different submissions in every one of his matches. I'm just excited to see you next time and to see you. <laughs> I don't want to put too much pressure on you, but I'm excited to see you next time and see what type of submissions you come out and pull out of the bag uh, for the next one. On Monday, I actually uh, I made my own submission. I'm calling it the Psycho Team. Maybe I can hit something like that. Or maybe next time I can hit a, something else I come up with. I don't know. I'll just be, I just want to be I just want to be fun. You know, I, I love being fun. I'll be waiting. The psycho I'll be waiting team. For that. You, you heard it here first. The psycho team. He's calling Zach Radigan, everybody. Awesome. Very thank, good. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Zach. Congratulations, Zach. Thank you so much. Good job, man. Awesome, yeah, brother. Man, what a humble competitor. Zach is as humble as they get and incredibly talented.